we have what it takes to win. The more proofs we have to speed. Spa is a new circuit for everyone. It's our turn to win. I mean, when you hear Spa Francorchamps, it's like uh, special. I get goosebumps when I hear it, and uh, every lap you get through the Rouge and all the other parts of the track is uh, amazing. All this uh, place around is beautiful. Racing in, uh, in Spa Francorchamps is something really different from other tracks because it's such an historical circuit, uh, difficult, long, the longest in the championship, seven kilometers, uh, uh, a lot of up and downs and uh, it's a really, really special circuit. Especially, you know, the layout itself that is in the forest. So the atmosphere here is a bit different compared to the, let's say, new racetracks. And yeah, it's with our, it, it suits our Yamaha R1 very well. We have a uh, good potential with these uh, kind of corners and uh, yeah, the feeling uh, to race here, especially the Eau Rouge part and uh, yeah, the back straight in the forest is pretty amazing. These guys are professionals. It's an unknown track for about the first hour, and then they go around there as fast as anyone else has ever been here. So fortunately, we came and tested here. We established the base electronic setup for, for all the factors, um, the gearing, and the, the main key to the work is the temperature range and the time of the day that different tiles are working. Yeah, we, we, we work it out and then go to work. Yeah, unfortunately I lost the front in a very fast lap uh, after the back straight. Um, my best lap time was also the best lap time of the session, but then I lost the front and uh, I pick up the bike and uh, continued. I want to go back to the pits to repair the front, uh, but then uh, some uh, corners later the steering damper was docked because it was uh, away from the, from, the, uh, from the frame. And uh, yeah, then I, the bike turned full to the left and I went with 140 k's into the wall. Unfortunately, uh, my hand is a bit hurting, but we'll be fine. And uh, we are already looking forward to the qualifying. But yeah, Marvin going down in, uh, in FP1 on our potential race bike, the preferred bike from the riders, complicated things a little bit. Um, obviously, the first concern is how Marvin is. Banana bread. Uh, once Marvin... Uh, Okay, he's not 100%, he's, he's beaten up a little bit, quite a lot, but uh, nothing's broken, um, he can ride. Yeah, that complicated things, we had to bring another bike out of the truck and ma materially everything is the same with all the bikes we've got. Riders have a preference. So then the rest of that session was to try, only Nicolo got to ride the, the, the spare bike, so he tried to get that feeling as, as good as he could and then the afternoon was qualifying. So. Yeah, the first time I came here to the Rouge and Radio Yon, uh, the feeling was amazing because uh, you, you, you cannot really see on TV the difference uh, of uh, angle from, from going downhill to going uphill, it's incredible and uh, such a nice speed corners and uh, it's, uh, it's really difficult to find also the, the braking marker, to find the, the momentum where to change direction, it's really Really an hard corner, but uh, uh, it's uh, super nice. The first time I came here was 10 years ago in 2013, so it so was a long time ago. So it helped me to know where the track is turning, for sure. But uh, then how you have to brake, how the speed you, you have in the corner, I think I had to learn like, all, all over again the, the rider that knows the track better when we arrived here was Marvin. Actually, when we came here, I was the only one of us who have been here before. 
and uh, I went out with Karel and with Nicolo to learn them the track, but uh, they are amazing and they were, after a few sessions, they were on pace and faster even, and I even didn't need to help them. But we rode a lot of to, to, together a lot and uh, bring us up to speed even better. And uh, yeah, also the team made a fantastic job and we were immediately up to speed and on leprechaun pace. For us, it's definitely, it's a benefit, but it's more of a shortcut to get the other riders up to speed. We're allowed to, during testing, we can use two, three bikes. So we can send the guys out with Marvin. That gets everyone up to speed a bit quicker. And then our, our serious work gets, uh, Gets, gets done and, and attacked and we get our teeth into the serious work quicker. to the end of qualifying one. Um, a very eventful day for us. Um, after the crash this morning, um, we, we lost our number one bike, our race bike, so it was, it was very hectic in between. We had to get another bike ready. Um, we actually got the third bike ready. Um, and then it was straight into qualifying, try to get a feeling with how the bike is, but also try and get a lap time in try to understand the tyres in, in, in a hotter condition than we've used before, but also we have the, we have the risk that maybe it'll rain tomorrow. So it was, which, how many tyres do we use and who do we use them with? Marvin's a little bit uh, second-hand at the moment, some pain from the crash, so uh, yeah, we, we got through it. Um, Carol managed uh, a good time at the end with a new tyre. Um, and Robin, uh, Robin did a good job at the end to, to get some tyres ready for us for the race and, uh, and bank a lap time in case we need him in the race. So we got to the end of a very uh, stressful day, let's say, that we, we didn't plan on. Yeah, the feeling was great. The team prepared a perfect bike, and my teammates helped me to give me information about the condition of the racetrack, you know. And uh, yeah, the bike was uh, working amazing. We got some extra horsepower, which is always needed uh, on a track like this. And I could hit my marks perfect, uh, find a place in the traffic, and uh, yeah, in the last minute I could uh, find the a good spot and uh, I did not any mistake and I could do the perfect lap so I'm really happy for my team and for this ball. Yeah well, well Marvin definitely was the ultimate gentleman today. The way the two qualifyings work is we have seven tyre stickers to use over two days for three riders in six sessions, front and rears included. So 
we got the front tyre wrong yesterday, the first one out with Niccolo. Um, so we had to go with the second front tyre. And by the end of the session, we used four stickers yesterday. So that only, we needed to give, put a tyre in for Carol at the end to, to, to get a lap time in. So Marvin, after the crash, yesterday Q1, he just wanted to feel how his body was and there was no push from Marvin yesterday. So then we had the situation today. We had uh, a used front tyre, quite a used front tyre. We had two used rear tyres um, and a front tyre that we couldn't really use because it was the wrong compound. Marvin, as we discussed earlier, Marvin said, listen, the way qualifying works is you base your, you need two good lap times from two riders and that's how they, they make an aggregate of your two best lap times. So he said, guys, go for the new tyre on the front and then that leaves only two rears and give that to Nico and Carol to, to push. Um, so we did that, Nico did a, we had a new front tyre for Nico to use. Um, he used a new rear, um, he did a good, really good lap time, got down into the low 19s and Marvin went out, obviously pretty relaxed and a bit stiff and sore and still did a really good lap time on the old tyres. Um, so that gave us some confidence that Martin, Marvin's in pretty good shape. He's not 100%, but uh, the body's working well and he, and he still did, uh, still could do what he needed to do. Carol was able to go out and, and uh, do an amazing lap time on his, on his new tyre at the end. Um, and that's how, that's how team works. That's teamwork at its, uh, at its absolute best. that looks like one of the speed sensors uh, has an issue. So the bike's in a kind of a recovery traction control at the moment, which is cutting the bike a little bit too much. It's, it's a safety option, but it's probably hurting our top speed a little bit. So yeah, May, we hope it's a wheel sensor and not the sensor on the bike. Thank 
Honestly, we expect a little bit uh, more for for the first part of the race, and uh, yeah, we are still in good position, so there is no stress. But uh, we need to uh, work a little bit more with the electronics to set it up for the condition on the track, which is a bit difficult because we didn't have such a hot track throughout this weekend. But yeah, we are trying our best to to manage this and uh, keeping there. Hopefully, when the temperature drops, we're gonna be same as in Le Mans, more strong, and uh, yeah, then we believe our time will come. better than I expected. Uh, I had a good start and uh, first good stint with good fun and battling with the others. After we had an electronic uh, issue which where we had no traction control and stuff but uh, then we came Nicolo came in to change one sensor. Now it's working again but we still uh, are not comfortable so good li or comfortable like uh, all the previous days with the bike but uh, yeah I think when the tire the temperature drops a bit uh, the bike will work better with the tires and then we will be more competitive again. Here in Spa we're talking about the track where the average speed is, is uh, 180 km per hour. It's insane. Of course riding in the night is a different experience because uh, we are used to race in tracks like Le Mans and Bull d'Or where there is a lot of lighting into the, in, in, in the track and we can see really well. Here it's really dark, so it's, uh, it's for sure more difficult, more challenging and the speed, uh, the high speed corners doesn't help at all, but uh, this uh, makes the race even more exciting. for as long as possible. We just need to keep recovering, we need as much time as we can to try and gain back as much time as we lost. So. We're working away on the BMW, We've, we got ourselves back on the same lap as them, so the guys are doing a great job and that's all we can do, stay in it. Despite the problem with the front sensor, what we had, so the, the race is going following our plan, so we don't risk too much. 
just uh, we don't look too much on the other competitors. We just race against Spa at the time. So the bike uh, is running okay so far. Tires working proper and uh, the best of the package for sure the riders. Well, to start a 24 hours uh, is uh, always uh, difficult to know what is going to happen. If it's going to rain or not, if it's going to be dry, sunny, hot temperature. So we, we don't know what to expect, but we have to be ready for everything. And uh, in this uh, specific circuit, we do not have any experience on the wet conditions. So it's going to be tough if during the, the race it's going to rain because uh, we, we have zero experience. So we, we will have to adapt very quickly. Uh, we have to hope that the engineers did a good work on the engine brake and traction control on the electronic of the bike because this is a key point. Of course, this is going to affect the whole strategy of the race because uh, probably some, some of us will have to do double stints because the, the, the condition of the track are changing so quickly. So it's uh, not, not going to be easy and uh, for sure uh, we, we will not have a fixed plan for this. Yeah. Uh -huh. 